sure yes, first stopped. try. All right, we're we're immediately playing Bomb King. That look is fire. And for those of you who don't Bomb know me, King. Bomb King was my first main. He is still my highest level champion by a lot. And I yeah, I've literally played him since 2017. And this map is the exact map where I yeah, the Puma's uh, where, where the events were set in motion for me to become a Bomb King main. Because I was playing on this map, and I got clapped. I got demolished. Destroyed. I got blown into oblivion by a Bomb King player. And so I decided to give Bomb King a try. And then the rest just became history. So, All right. hopefully we get to make a Bomb King main out of somebody on the PTS. Wouldn't that be fun, right? <laughs> uh, this will be great. This will be absolutely great. Thank you for that prime sub. We got... All right! Nah, not quite a beta team on the enemy team. We got almost a beta team on our team, with the exception of Azan. And yeah, this is the by far the oldest map out of the three payload maps. All and right! you're going to notice that it looks actually significantly worse than the other maps. But also, you're going to notice it's very similar to Timbermill. And it has stealth bushes, which is a feature that was in right! really old paladins, really old beta paladins. It was basically a bush that you could walk inside of, and if you were inside of it, you would go invisible. So, no, no, yeah, boy. it was a very Explosions interesting left. game mechanic. And, oh yeah, my build isn't updated. All right, we're going to go regular juggernaut oh. then, and just grab some nimble. Uh... And, and yeah, you can imagine how weird that's going to be with new champions, right? Imagine Yagaroth hiding in a stealth bush. But yeah, here's the spawn of Outpost. This is like a whole armory, like, you know, just warehouse stockpile thing. Oh! Make what preparations are necessary for this battle Dang, what's he standing on? I, I didn't realize there was a hole in the floor. That's really cool. I, I actually didn't know that was a thing. I just remember this being, like, a, a big box area. Look at all the decorations, though. There's actual, like, weapons here, too. It's so cool. Let's go out this door. I'm just gonna explore for a little bit. Stop shooting me! I'm looking around. But yeah, this has the old Timbermill aesthetic. It's like Timbermill, but with the old, more dated graphics. And you'll notice there are significantly less decorations than the other two maps. Less foilage, less wow, other things. You're like really but yeah, good. I remember this area. I remember this area so much. Because, yeah, this is the area where, like, I was just getting camped. Like, there was a Bomb King here, and, I like, no matter what I could do, I could, just could not get past this area. But, yeah, there's, like, a whole area back here as well. And the payload goes underneath this tunnel. Oh my gosh, there's still posters! Look at this! There's a poster here. I remember when they added these posters, these used to be on like all the maps. Like posters like this, just propaganda posters for the Magistrate and for the Paladins. Uh, and you had these on like Splitstone and all the other maps. But yeah, you can go up here somehow. These staircases just take you back up here, and then I don't remember how you actually get in there. I never really figured that out. Uh, I think there's somewhere like over here. Yeah, okay, over here. So you go over here and... Oh yeah, there's the hole. Yeah, right there. I forgot. And then you can go up here, and then you just got this, which leads you out here. I love these old layouts. They're so intricate. There's so much stuff, and there's portals as well. We can just go up here. Imagine playing the game, am I right? I don't even know how we're winning. Goodness. But yeah, substantial lack of decorations. This is the All one right. payload map that looks like really dated. Are these stealth pushes over here? Yeah, these are stealth bushes, so look at this. On my screen, client side, you know, obviously they're flattened down. But if the enemies were to look at these bushes, they would just see bushes. They would not see yeah, the, the bomb king sitting inside. But now we get to the part that is very much like Timbermill. So, anyone in here? Okay, no gamers in the stealth bush. But yeah, I'm sure you'll immediately start to recognize... Oh yeah, this is like kind of looking out at the objective. And then we come over here. Oh, there's a ramp. And then, oh my gosh, there's a high ground right up here. With some boxes that are halfway clipping through the floor. Oh, and then if we go down here, oh my gosh, there's a portal leading up. It's Timber Mill. Oh, and there's uh, a... <laughs> there's logs with no hitbox. It's Timber Mill. 
But this is super, super oh, old beta Timbernail. And yeah, you can really, it's almost like an archive of like what Timbermill used to look like, and you can kind of glean from this how Timbermill has changed, and also how much Timbermill hasn't changed in some ways. Very cool. Yeah, then the rest of this just becomes like a weird version of Timbermill. There's these planks that you can just walk across and then come over here, which honestly would be kind of nice to have in the real map. But there's also the staircase back here. And new Timbermill does actually look better, I will admit. And yeah, also you can see the old timber mill spawn back here. So like, you know, instead of having, yeah, well, instead of having an area like up top where you come out, the spawn is back here, and you still have this door on the side, but then the door is over here, and you just kind of walk out, and yeah. Also, we have a lot of subs. I have, listen, I've been paying, I've been playing Payload. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't notice that. Thank you so much, everyone who subscribed. I see a tier one sub from Ninzo Edge and a prime sub from Glitchy Unknown. If I missed any other subs, I'm sorry, but I appreciate all the support. I really do. I'm just looking around. <laughs> I'm looking around. You'll forgive me. The nostalgia is unreal. But yeah, there's also like a... Very well. There's like a weird ramp here. I don't know why there's a ramp that just leads to nowhere, but you can't actually get up to this area. So you have to walk through this portal and then you come up here and there's no walls. So there's the timber mill side of the map. And then there's the not timber mill side of the map. Pretty epic. And yeah, defend the payload. Defend the payload. Let's game on them. Yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine missing. It couldn't be me. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. That's beautiful. Whee! Hello. Hello, gamers. Oh man. It's plays like that that caused me to main bomb ping. Someone did that, but to me. And so I wanted to play this character, and now I'm doing that to them. The circle of life is now complete. Yeah, oh, gamer over here. Blast her, blast the Betty. She can't hit me. I'm too, I'm too snasty. Oh, I can't hit her. Oh, we killed each other. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> nice. This is the most competitive map. It was ported from Global Agenda, I think. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I don't actually know. But yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, certainly one of the, uh, the sweatier maps. Because, yeah, it's Timbermill leading into a very sweaty hallway area. And if you're playing a blaster, you can very much defend that. We have multiple blasters, so we do have quite the competitive advantage. I think just from that journey there, riding back on my horse, this is also, I think, the, uh, longest map to traverse. Because certainly playing on a Frostbite Caverns, I don't think it was nearly as long of a journey. Uh, and I think the same goes for Hidden Temple. Yee! Run away! Throw the Grumpy, where is she? Oh! Hello. Hi, how are you? Don't knock me around, please. Ooh, he's going in. I'm just gonna get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, he died. Makoa is being an anti-air monster right now. Unbelievable. They're also pushing quickly! Let's go over here and spam bombs down in this hole. The payload is right there. We can throw Grumpy. <laughs> oh, I wanted to use this porthole. That's so cheeky. I love it. Yeah, oh. We're getting invaded. There's a Betty coming around the flank. I'm on the case. I'm on the case. There we go. We got her. Oh, I love it. I love it. Take this grumpy. Kill the Grover. Or don't kill the Grover. I think he's coming through the power. Right. Yeah, push me. Push me. <laughs> oh, man. Fighting. We can bust that shield. If they push to the cart, they're going to have to get past me. So. Yeah, this is actually quite a good spot to zone from. They're going to have to send someone up here to uh, take me out. Otherwise, I just defend here. I don't think I can contest them. Oop, yep, there she is. Alright. 
Get her. Get her. Got her. They could also probably suck me down here with this Sarah's ult. Interesting strategies. I don't know if I can pop you back up. I guess I'll try. Drop down here. Realize I'm getting attacked. Oh, my poppy just broke. Okay. Well, I'm probably dead. But it doesn't matter, because we defend. There we go. Nice. Andrew, I can see one main problem about Payload is that the matches are unwinnable if the enemy is good and pushes the cart to the end. No. Because if you... Okay. If Team 1 pushes it 100% of the way in, like, 4 minutes... Then you can still win as team two. You just have to push in, you know, four uh, or in three minutes fifty nine seconds. It's still very much winnable. You just gotta be better. <laughs> uh, Earl Meyer's saying they should bring back overtime on payload. Honestly, it might be a good thing to have overtime on payload. Like I can, I can definitely see having overtime. You know, if you're still on the points, but the time is expired. I think that's a fine addition that could be made. But I guess that wasn't a thing back in the day. Yeah, it would, it would be nice. It would be nice. I just know that it's very fun. It's so refreshing, too. It's so, so refreshing to be able to play on these maps. Really fun maps, too. Like, not, you know, Primal Court maps, but, like, actual good maps. And, yeah, just you play a new game mode. That's actually fun. And that's something different. It's not a Siege oh, right. It's It's a real new game mode. 